In this video, we are going to look at the examples on page seven of the chapter one, section four slides. And I thought that this was going to work better than it has. For some reason, it doesn't like the letters FI, but we'll hope for the best. So the example is Prescott manufactures its products at a cost of $4 per unit and sells them for $10 per unit. If the firm's fixed cost is $12,000 per month, determine the firm's break even point. So to determine the break even point, we need to know our revenue function And that's R of X equals PX, where P is the price per unit. And we need to know its cost function. C of X equals CX plus F, where C is the cost per unit and F is the fixed cost per month. So, R of X is pretty easy to figure out. R of X equals 10X. It's 10X because they're selling their uh, products at $10 per unit. And C of X, let's put some parentheses around that X. C of X is going to be 4X plus 12,000. They sell their they, they uh, manufacture at a cost of $4 per unit and sell for $10 per unit. Well, we want to know where these numbers are equal. That will give us the break even point. So we just say 10x equals 4x plus 12,000. All right, well, I can subtract my, six, my 4x from here. To get 6x equals 12,000, and divide both sides by 6, which gives me x equals 2,000. So when Prescott makes 10, it makes 2,000 units, they break even. Less than that, they're operating at a loss, and more than that, and they're making a profit. Moving on, We've got our second question here. Using the data given in the previous example, answer the following questions. What is the loss sustained by the firm if only 1,500 units are produced and sold each month? Well, I can do this. I say that X is 1,500. I go back and I look at my R of X and C of X, 10X and 4X plus 12,000. Well, for this, we can set up a profit function. This is going to be the easiest thing to do. P of X is just R of X minus C of X, which in this case is 10X minus 4X plus 12,000 or 6X minus 12,000. Okay, so then I need the loss sustained by the firm, if only 1,500 units are produced and sold each month, I just take P of 1,500, which is 6 times 1,500, not 15,000, 1,500, minus 12,000, A, and that's 9,000, Minus 12,000 is negative 3,000. So if they only make 1,500 units, they lose $3,000 per month. B asks, what's the profit if 3,000 units are produced and sold each month? Okay, well then we take P of 3,000. Okay, so that's 6 times 3,000 minus 12,000, which is 
18,000 minus 12,000, which is 6,000. So the profit is $6,000 a month, which is much better than losing 3,000 a month or even making nothing. Finally, how many units should the firm produce to realize a minimum monthly profit of $9,000? Okay, well, um, we could do this based on a pattern that we've already seen, but we're not going to. We are going to, um, we're going to do this by saying we know what the profit is and we need to find X. We know the profit is $9,000. And that's equal to C of X, which we know to be 6X minus 12,000. OK, so if I add 12,000 to both sides of this, that gives us 21,000 equals 6x. So I divide both sides by 6 and get x equals 3,500 dollars, just units. So if we want to make $9,000, we need to make 3,500 units and sell them. If you have any questions on these problems, let me know.